Hi, I'm Paula Radcliffe. I'm here in Berlin and we're getting a sneak preview at the new Nike Invincible 3. My name is Jesse Olson, Senior Product Line Manager for Nike Running. The journey in the Invincible was all about how can we take ZoomX foam and create an everyday trainer that combines the benefits of maximum cushioning and responsiveness. It's really all about how we can hopefully offset the wear and tear of running lots of miles. And how we're able to unlock that incredibly lightweight and responsive foam is by using really tall stack heights. So for a US size men's 10, that's gonna be 31 in the forefoot and 40 millimeters in the heel for a nine mil offset. Plenty of cushioning for both your heel and your forefoot to keep you feeling comfortable and energized on your runs. The upper technology, an old shoe dog saying as we like to have, is you start with the last first. The last is what's going to give the upper its shape as well as more specifically the amount of volume that an athlete's foot is going to have within that upper. And so for us, it also helped us better optimize Nike Flyknit technology. That's all about how we use layered performance to be able to deliver a combination of an upper that is inherently comfortable but also lightweight and durable. As we like to say, it's the same ingredient, that being ZoomX, with a slightly perfected recipe. So it's all about how we've maintained those tall stack heights and then also increasing in this iteration the nets or the forefoot width uh, that you have there. So that's all about how you can maintain that cushioning while improving stability and support. Yeah, it's all about how in a couple key areas on the midsole and the outsole that we've made it wider in this iteration. So here, here, and here, you're going to be able to obviously feel the really soft and responsive cushioning, but then how that's also going to work with our rocker geometry. What we mean by a rocker, it's this concave shape that runs from your heel to your toe. It's all about very gradually and smoothly transitioning that runner into their forefoot and through their stride. The update from the two to the three is how we removed a secondary cross rocker that we had in the forefoot. So by making this area of the shoe flatter and also making it wider, you're able to unlock that additional support and stability. Tech upgrades really is where we're focusing on optimizing our current recipe. So that's still gonna utilize Nike Flyknit technology. This iteration, we've really focused on bringing in different types of yarns in layered performance and engineering those to be able to deliver the right type of combination of both support durability in an inherently lightweight package. The benefit of having such a tall slab of foam in terms of its stack heights is that it really will allow runners to be able to feel that initial step on that feels kind of magical. It's all about feeling that combination of responsiveness and softness. And then the nice benefit of it being a really large piece of foam is that that helps give a longer range of maintaining those properties well into your 300 miles. The outsole in this version has been, as we mentioned before, it's a little bit wider than our previous versions. We also increased the lug height. That's gonna be in combination with the tall stack heights. By also increasing the amount of rubber that you have in your foot, we've been able to improve our traction as well as the durability. Being the pinnacle expression and experience of our training line, we're really proud that this is gonna work for a broad range of runners and be able to be something that they can use for a number of different runs. If you're a bit more of that dedicated runner who's focusing on hitting your PR, we think this is gonna be a great arrow in your quiver that will really excel on those long, slow, distant runs or those recovery days. If you're someone that's a little bit more of getting into running or you've maybe had some experiences where you haven't had a great run, that's where ZoomX is really gonna provide cushioning that equates to comfort that helps you ultimately be able to feel invincible. My mileage right now is absolutely not added up at all. I try and get out and run most days and I would say on average it's going to be between 45 minutes and an hour. So I'm really excited. I've already had the chance to run a bit in the new Nike Invincible 3. I see it as that kind of shoe you go to when you want a, a soft and cushioned run but you also want to be able to A, have a better grip, um, but B, also uh, to throw in a little bit more dynamic stuff. With the Invincible 3, you have all the great cushioning and the support, but when you get up on your toes and you want to go a little bit quicker, you get more back from the ground, you get a little bit more responsiveness. It's a great colorway, it's really comfortable from the first time that you put it on, and walking around, you can already feel the, the cushioning 
is there and the minute that you start to, to run, to jog, you, you really feel that all of the great cushioning is there but you feel the responsiveness as well. So I guess all of those things together. So the, the ride is very smooth, it's, it's very comfortable. You do feel like you're, you're getting some spring back, you can feel the bounce. Uh, we've done some kind of pace change sessions on the treadmill with some of the groups and when you go into the, the quicker segments you can feel that you can really almost get a spring into that quicker pace. I see that the, the shoe really comes into its own in the recovery runs. In those runs where you want to, to still get the, the mileage in, you want to, to get the quality, you also want to clear out some of the lactate residue and the, the soreness from maybe a previous workout that morning or the day before. And this is a really safe shoe to, to go to to that. So you still get an enjoyable run, but you are also kind of clearing out the debris that, that's left over and getting that regeneration ready for the next hard workout. Uh, I think this would have been really beneficial when I was competing both in terms of the run-up to competition, making sure that you're getting all of that shock absorption, you're getting that soft ride uh, and recovery ready for high performance day. Um, and then in the, the days after the, the competition as well, and days after hard workouts, in terms of being able to, to get those recovery runs in at a decent pace, but allow your legs, feet and muscles to recover well. Hi, I'm Laura Waitman and I'm a 1500m, 5000m distance runner. I really like the shoe, they're really comfortable. I like the upper, the colourway especially of this particular pair that I'm wearing. And yeah, they feel really nice and soft on my feet. I really like the new design of these shoes. I think I like um, the comfort and the, the profile of the bottom. They feel like a lot smoother and a lot lighter. So I really like the way they feel and move on my feet. Yeah, I think for me, this kind of shoe would be really great, easy running mild shoe, because I like something that's really soft. So I think the softness for me will help those easy runs feel nice and easy and comfortable. And I like the cushioning of the base as well, being a toey runner as well. I think this the cushioning at the front really feels smooth as I walk through them. I want to be a healthy Laura Whitman. That's the version I want everyone to see this year. So having gone through my surgery and recovery, at the back end of last year. The plan this year for me is to be back healthy and on my feet running. And yeah, all positive signs so far, so hopefully you'll see me back this year.